hello, hello, hello. Uh, this is my first broadcast. I thought I'd spend a little time with you this evening with something simple. Um, this is the Panic Room. And if anybody out there is watching, I hope you'll give me a hand in finding some of these objects. All right, we're about to get started. Hello, Teresa. I am the puppeteer and I'd like to play a game. You are locked in a house with many rooms containing various challenges for you. You'll have to risk your life to get out. Ooh, I'm scared. This is your private room, the only safe place in the house. Small puppets will arrive here every day it's a gift from me. Find them. Okay, looks like he's giving me drugs and feathers. And money. I know you found all the puppets. Are you surprised? It's very simple. Cameras are installed in all the rooms of the house, so I will keep an eye on you all the time. And don't try to break them. Otherwise, I can get very upset. It's time to pass the first test. Look at the plan of the house. It hangs on the wall. The first test awaits you in the kitchen. The room is open to you, so the light is on. Look for the items in the room that I will name, but remember, my patience is not unlimited. If you manage to do this before the timer shows zero, the reward is yours. The game has begun. Okay, pie, ham, that ham does not look very good. That the rolling pin right there. Oh. Can't find an item? The laser is one of my most effective inventions. It will indicate the right thing. Use it. Yes, sir. Jenny Wallace. Okay, she is a sad looking something. Hello. My name is Jenny. You seem to be Teresa? Sorry, I overheard. He always sends new ones to the kitchen, so I meet first. I'm here most of the time. Always sends new ones to the kitchen? How many have there been? Okay, so I am up against Jenny Wallace. 
and some unknown person who's in second place. All right. Let's go. Not bad, Teresa. You're doing well. Looks like you found a piece of the first puzzle. Remember, if you complete the whole puzzle, you will find out where one of the keys is hidden. Find them all and you will be free. Here's some gold tokens. I don't want my puppet to break prematurely. Okay, so now I'm getting really scared. Okay, so I have to aid in cooking. So if I complete this task, okay, find a mortar and a pestle in the kitchen. Jenny will take them after you complete the task. And Jenny, once again, looking so sad over here. We rarely see new faces. Come to my kitchen. I'm very interested to know more about you. Okay, so we're going back to the kitchen. Okay, so it's in words mode. All right. Here we go. Oh, God. Is that the same Jenny? She changed clothes? There are many tools that will help you during the trials. For example, an electromagnet will attract all of the items from your search list for 40 seconds. Just wave it about the room and collect the items it attracts. Just remember that it can't grab more than one item at a time. Okay, now she's in different clothes. Look. You're probably hungry, aren't you? I would cook something, but my mortar and pestle are gone. Please search. All right, girl, let's see if we can find your mortar and pestle. Okay, so we're looking for the empty vase, pie, broom, that nasty looking ham, and the rolling pin. Now, wait a little. Here you are. This is a delicious salad that will help you regain your health. All right, so I got the mortar and I got the pestle. And looks like I've got two pieces of a puzzle. All right. So I can mark this off as complete. All right. So I got my salad, I got some freedom points, and some tokens. Okay. How is it? Like? Mm. I don't know, Jenny. Salad looks a little boring to me. I'll, I'll try it later. Okay, so now I have to do a story quest. All right. So I have to find a ballerina figurine in the living room. Okay, so let me close that out. But I'm not planning to die just yet. And the things don't look all that bad. I'm not completely alone here. Not long ago, I met Jenny Wallace, a sweet girl. It's a little bit strange. She's been here for a while. So I should be fine, too. She bandaged my hands. You can't open a door here without hurting yourself. And treated me to a bowl of fresh salad. Okay, so 
we're back here. All right. Tell me, Teresa, have you seen a bronze ballerina figurine? I left it somewhere and can't find it now. I went to the living room this morning. Can you ask Jim if it's still there? Well, I would if I knew who Jim was. Okay, the living room is where the inhabitants of the mansion like to gather. You can often see people by the fireplace. There is no better place to exchange news, tell stories, or talk about your achievements. At least until a newcomer shuts the door and triggers a challenge. Uh, well, I guess that's gonna be me. This is a different Jenny Wallace? Dealing with multiple personalities or clones, maybe? Okay, in trials, time plays against you. The chronometer will allow you to slow down the timer. She just looks so pitiful. You can't believe your eyes. There really, there is really a child sitting on a couch in the living room. Dark haired skinny boy of 10 is looking at you fearfully. Jenny sits on the couch next to him and he immediately embraces her. It's awful. Who could imagine that the puppeteer stooped as low as to bring the kid to the mansion? You shake your head. Something strange is happening. Maybe he somehow got into the house himself? Found a loophole? As you entered the living room, you saw two young men who were arguing about something. Jack Firewood. I don't need anyone's help, brother. I can handle it myself. Sure, but if you just wrap the rag around the wound, you are guaranteed to get blood poisoning. So that's Jim Firewood. I'll manage without your advice, Jim. I should go to my room. Coming to you was a mistake. After these words, the wounded stood up from the couch and left the room, and the man in the white shirt buried himself in a book once again. This must be Jim, but you should probably complete the challenge before talking to him. Okay. So, radio. Bottle of juice. Umbrella. Umbrella, there it is. Firewoods bundle. I would think the firewoods bundle would be next to the fireplace, but no. Stack of books. That's a stack of books there. And a stack of books here. Hmm. I'm going to go with that one. Okay. Good. Hat. There's a hat. And lastly, the violin. Jenny asks the kid how he got into the house. The child whispers the answer in her ear. Jenny turns to you. Her face expresses fear and utter amazement. What, is he a ghost? He says he lives here. 
Yeah, he's a ghost. I take it you came here to ask me something? My name is Jim, and I'm a doctor, so feel free to tell me if you're not well. You must me? You... <laughs> you must me? What is that? What? Pleased to meet you, Teresa. Yes, Jenny did leave a bronze figurine here. You can have it. I'm not a collector. Okay, so there's the figurine. And I have a puzzle piece. All right. Completed. The puppeteer. Hmm, I have really got to figure out his personality. I just imagine he's just... Hmm, you're a fast learner. I'll open another room for you. Welcome to the basement. I don't know, something like that, I guess. Okay, so now I'm at level three. Okay. Ooh, now rats. I have unlocked the basement for you. There are rats down there, but shouldn't worry. Most of them are harmless and some are even amusing, especially the ones who walk on two legs and try to play their own games. I think you will get acquainted with both types. Jenny Wallace says, there is a kid in the living room, and I am thoroughly convinced that it's a ghost. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go in the basement. This one is like 20 life points. The basement has been overrun with rats that now scurry about every floor. They say this is where the members of the underground like to hold their meetings. Oh, I'm here for that. So poor Jenny. Poor, tired, sad-looking Jenny. The triple laser points to three items from the list at once. You saw a rat the moment you opened the basement door. It was sitting right on the stairs but fled into the darkness after giving you an appraising look. Appraising look. I hope it approved. Maybe it didn't. That's why it fled. Anyway, there was a young man sitting on a crate downstairs, working on some device. He turned around at the sound of your footsteps. Ah, it's Jack Firewood again. Did the puppeteer send you here? I saw you. You seem to be Teresa. My name is Jack. The basement is my territory, but I allow anyone who does not interfere with my work to pass tests here. By the way, here you can find a lot of interesting things if you dig deep enough. All right, so on with the search. Looking for a ladle. Firewood's bundle, 
all iron kettle a paper bag a paper bag and a toy car. Okay, so now I have some screws and another puzzle piece. So I am up to level four. Okay, and this task has been completed. Okay, so I got glue, freedom points, and more tokens. At some point, I guess I'll find out exactly what I can do with these tokens. Alright, so next is a note to Jenny. But first, I'm going to take another look at the player's diary, which is in... What is that? Is that Russian? Well, guess I won't be reading the player's diary tonight. If anybody is watching and you're seeing this, please translate. In the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and close this. All right, let's try it again. There we go. The puppeteer likes to joke. He opened the basement for me and mentioned that I would find rats that walk on two legs. So I met Jack. Yes, Jack is a rat. His habits do remind me of rats, but in a good way. He defends his territory, can find and use, can find a use even for the most useless things. He never stops tinkering and tries to play his own games. As the puppeteer put it, the puppeteer seems to have a soft spot for rats. Anyway, rats flee a sinking ship, so while they are around, everything should be okay. Not even a rat would be able to escape this house. All right, so let's go to a note to Jenny. The puppeteer says, I have a little assignment for you, Teresa. Take this note. It's addressed to Jenny. Make your way to the kitchen and leave it on the table. All right, so in the kitchen, looks like we're still in words mode. Ah, the light stick will allow you to illuminate the entire darkened room for a while. You went into the kitchen again, but Jenny was not there. All right, so teddy bear, broom, empty vase, hat, and a rolling pin. You left a note on the table for Jenny, just like the puppeteer said. Okay, so I got another statue, lovers, a ballerina, and another puzzle piece. Alright, I got 
tokens, freedom points. I got a closed safe. And, okay, I got the puzzle piece. All right. Okay, I have received a random piece of the kitchen puzzle. <laughs> okay, so next is the first riddle. Let's see what's in, okay. Uh, I'm going to leave the player's diary alone <laughs> for now because I cannot read. And I'm assuming this is Russian. Well, yes, I'm going to leave that alone. ballerina <laughs> shines like new you know I had a whole collection of these figurines I have an idea let's restore the collection completely okay so I guess the next one is going to be the artist okay so let's go we are going back to the kitchen. I mean, the living room. Okay. The puppeteer says, some tasks will be completed only if you pass the test in a certain mode. Be careful. I don't know why, but I imagine him to speak really, really haughty. I imagine like um, Hades in, I think the video game is Kid Icarus Rising, I believe is the name of it. Um, and I never played it, but I've seen clips of Hades on YouTube and I just absolutely adore him. Jenny Wallace. Look, the puppeteer left a note for me in the kitchen. Sounds like a riddle. Apparently, the name of some object is hidden in it. Maybe statuettes? Let's look. And I just imagine Jenny just is just so sad and so tired and just so pitiful that she just sounds just absolutely exhausted. Okay, so bottle of juice, firewoods bundle, umbrella, radio, stack of books, violin, and the hat. An artist, of course. Now he should be standing on the fireplace. I remember I glued it. Look, there is a trace of glue on the figurine. Where does he come from? Here. Where does he come from here? Where does he come from here? sentence doesn't exactly make sense, but okay. So I got a puzzle piece and that's it. Puzzle piece. 
This is, let's see, what does Jenny say? This is a wonderful figurine. Do they look cute with ballerina? I guess, girl, I don't know. So the next story quest is the enigmatic figurine. All right, let's go, girl. We are a great team. Shall we turn to Jack? She and her brother have not been getting along lately. Maybe we can distract them. She and her brother? Hmm. Let's just go. We're, we're heading back to the basement. Hey, what more do you want from me? Teresa, it seems to me that there was also a poet in this collection. I do not remember. Right, he was standing on the mantel with the others. Jack, have you seen him? Maybe she's here too. Look, there's a lot of junk here. I just imagine Jack is just cranky all the time. And probably has a Jersey accent, but <laughs> I can't pull that off. Okay, bottle of juice, broom, ladle, firewoods bundle, okay. toy car, watermelon, and a paper bag. Here it is. Here it is. I found. I found? He is exactly as I imagined. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't told you yet. I have partial amnesia. I do not remember my childhood until I was 13. This is due to being hit by a car. <laughs> well, that explains a lot. Oh, here we go. Everybody's got a story. Okay, so this is the poet. And I got another puzzle piece. Task is complete. There are two more figurines left. I can't wait to put together the entire collection. Next one, Violinist in Love. So Jenny says, we found the ballerina, the poet, and the artist, but there used to be more figurines. These are creative occupations. So should we look for an actor or a writer next? No, I don't think so. How can we find it if I can't even remember what we're looking for? The musician, that's it. As <laughs> she probably just stares off blankly into the nothingness. Okay, so we're going back to the living room. All right, let's head back in there. So, Jim, 
My brother's grunts can be heard even here. Are you looking for statuettes? Let me help you. <clears throat> oh, let me try that again in a more masculine voice. <clears throat> My brother's grunts can be heard even here. Are you looking for statuettes? Let me help you. <laughs> I think I'm having more fun just reading the script. <laughs> oh, Jim, it's very nice of you. I remember that we were missing the musician. I definitely saw him around here. Okay. All right, things are starting to move around. Firewood's bundle, bottle of juice, umbrella, radio, violin, and lastly, stack of books. So I've got the musician and the stand and two more puzzle pieces for the living room. And I have leveled up to five. And this is complete. Now you have access to the hallway. The door here is the only thing that stands between you and your freedom. So you'll have to find a way to unlock it. I don't even recall how I ended up in the mansion in the first place. I'll have to read again, <laughs> but was I kidnapped and brought there? Did I go there for a party and then I was drugged and locked in there? <laughs> I have questions. Okay, more puzzle pieces. You found it. Awesome. The musician should stand on the right, facing the others. Somebody was standing just like that, playing for us. Oh, my head is killing me. Okay. So now we've got to find the lovers. Actually, hmm, I'm quite sure I found that one already, but I guess not. I have a wonderful mint tea in my kitchen. He always helps me. I suggest we stop for a little tea and take a breath. He always helps me. Who? I guess we're going to find out. All right, so I am, I guess in my diary, the player's diary, I overheard the conversation between Dr. Jim and his brother Jack by accident. They seemed to be at odds with each other. When Jenny saw a musician's figurine, she remembered some person playing the violin. This memory gave her a headache. Okay, so we are going back to the kitchen and I am going to take a quick sip of my drink here.
while the game me will uh, have mint tea. There should be one more figurine. Lovers. She was my favorite. It was so long ago. <laughs> Once again, as she just stares blankly out into nothing. All right. Let's get to hunting. Okay. Teddy bear. That old nasty dried up ham. Broom. This place has a, a roach or a beetle. A hat. Probably a beetle because if it really were a roach, I'd probably be screaming hysterically right about now. I cannot stand cockroaches. I don't care if they're on the screen or not. So, yeah, that looks like a beetle. I can deal with that. Okay. Rolling pin. After completing the test, you sit at the table. Jenny boiled the kettle, took out a couple of china cups, and made some wonderful tea. You know, in real life, I don't even like mint tea. You know, while you and I were looking for the statuettes, I plunged into memories. And even for a moment, I forgot what a terrible place we are all in. Okay, well, Jenny, how did you get there? Okay, so we have the lovers, a brush, and another kitchen puzzle piece. I'm going to mark this complete. Yes, it is them. I must have also had a loved one. Thank you, Teresa. I remembered so many things. Well, tonight I am going to stop right here and we can pick up um, again with additional details, the next story quest tomorrow. I thank you all so much for watching and see you soon. Good night.